Fair Tower, come in. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. Are those fucking fireworks? You need to get down there right now and stop them. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler Buffet. You don't know a damn thing about me. Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Thanks for going down there. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place, threw my typewriter out the window. Do you have any idea who would have done this? That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Fuck. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Looks like it was cut deliberately. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. I've found a clipboard down here, and someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. I got hit in the head. What the hell is going on out there? I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that... What are they researching? Uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. There's an abandoned pack out here. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Haven't heard that name in a few years. He was stationed in Two Forks with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. One day they were just gone. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. It is not me. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. Sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. I shouldn't be out here. I just ran away from my problems. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and escaping isn't always something bad. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. The only thing in the cave is Brian. He's dead. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. <laughs>